What's the safest way to be anonymous on your computer? There are only two reliable options, Tails and Hunix, and the latter will be covered in today's Tor tutorial part 2. If you're new to Tor, I'd recommend that you watch part 1 of my Tor tutorial where I'll guide you through Tor browser and how to use Tor correctly. Today, let's focus on Hunix. So what is Hunix? Hunix is a virtual operating system. It's a full-featured Linux distribution that runs inside a virtual machine on top of your main host operating system, such as Windows, Mac, or another Linux distro. What makes Hunix special is that it is configured to securely route all your traffic inside itself through the anonymous Tor network, and it does it in ways that eliminate the possibility of a potential leak of your IP address if you end up, for example, visiting a website with a malicious JavaScript. It utilizes a concept known as security by compartmentalization, which is regarded among mainstream security researchers as the best approach towards system security. Hunix runs in isolation from your main system so that even if your VM box gets infected with malware, Hunix would usually not allow it to escape into your host operating system. To do that, it adopted several mitigation tactics against known attacks, including keystroke anonymization, boot clock randomization, protection against traffic analysis attacks, and plenty of other security hardening features, which make Hunix the safest way to serve the web. Despite its hard stance and security, Hunix is just as easy to install as it is to use. Running it as your daily driver isn't really that much different than using your traditional operating system. Hunix comes with a range of programs pre-installed by default and ready to be used on the go. We'll cover some of them in this tutorial, but you're not just limited to the default selection of apps. Because Hunix is based on Debian, you have access to the huge repository of Linux apps and can thus expand your arsenal to include almost all Linux apps. Now the good question is, why would you want to use something so secure and anonymous? Well, internet anonymity isn't just for the most secretive and shady people. Anonymity should be the default for everyone. You probably know this by now, but the internet was not invented with security in mind. All connections made on the internet reveal true physical locations and everything is being recorded by advertisers, data brokers and governments. The internet is fundamentally a public place and the only way to protect your identity in public is to be anonymous. Tor makes it so that every user looks the same and nobody's true location is revealed to the open internet. Hunix replicates this process, but with some additional security features you can get at a very minimal cost of convenience. Hunix really is made for everyone for general users, journalists, activists, researchers, or political dissidents. It can protect your browsing habits, search records, financial activity, or personal communication. The uses are limitless, and it is recommended to use Hunix as much as possible. Now I really hope you're sold on using Hunix as your daily driver, because the more people become anonymous, the better protection everyone gets. So where to get started? Let me guide you through the process. It is really simple. The installation involves just a few simple steps. To install Hunix, you first need to install VirtualBox on your main system and then use VirtualBox to install Hunix. VirtualBox is a free virtualization software you can use to run any operating system in a virtual machine. Running a virtual machine doesn't affect your main operating system in any way. It's like running an ordinary program. Once VirtualBox is installed, download Hunix file for your OS from Hunix. Hunix.org. Run VirtualBox, open the menu, and select Import Appliances. Use your file explorer to navigate to the destination of your Hunix file and proceed with the process. VirtualBox will now create two Hunix virtual machines, Gateway and Workstation. Both of these need to be run at the same time. Gateway is what creates and defends your Tor connection, and Workstation is where you actually operate as a user. Gateway is like a firewall, so don't do any internet activity there. Only Workstation can be used for that. Remember, always start your Hunix session by launching Gateway first and Workstation second. When you first launch them, both Gateway and Workstation will go through a configuration process and Hunix check. 
On its first boot up, Gateway will take you through the initial Tor configuration process. This is where you can decide to connect directly to Tor network or use Tor bridges to hide the fact you're connecting to Tor from your internet service provider or the government. Both of these options are equally secure and anonymous, it's just that some countries make using Tor illegal and using Tor bridges is the only way to reliably connect to the Tor network. Before you can start using Hunix, you should give it some time to finish its configuration configuration process and system updates. You may need to run the system updates manually by opening the terminal and running the system upgrade command. sudo apt-get-update-plus dist-upgrade. You can copy this command once the Hunix check finishes its process. Make sure to run system updates on both gateway and workstation and then restart. In Hunix workstation, fire up Tor browser and before you do anything, let it download and install the latest update. Once all this is done, you're ready to use Hunix to its full extent. If Hunix is too slow for you, close it and change your workstation hardware settings in VirtualBox. You should dedicate at least 2GB of RAM and a reasonable amount of CPU power. Don't worry, Hunix will only take it when in use. And the final step is to change your Hunix root password. Open Hunix terminal, type passwd, hit enter and follow the simple instructions. Default password is change me and username is user. And you're all set, ready to enjoy anonymous browsing in a significantly more secure environment than before. By default, Hunix runs in a persistent mode. That means it will take some space from your system storage to save files. But Hunix can also be run in what's called a live mode, when all the files are erased immediately after you power off your virtual machine. It is an additional security step that can mitigate the threat of persistent malware in your Hunix virtual machine. To boot into live mode, simply select the live mode option from the boot menu. Hunix can be naturally used at any window size, including full screen to give you that immersive experience. From the default applications you will use the most, Tor Browser is the same Tor Browser you get from the Tor project. So all the standard operation security practices apply here and to learn how to use it, watch my part 1 Tor tutorial. Hunix is an excellent environment for secure management of your cryptocurrency transactions. The workstation ships with a light Electrum Bitcoin wallet and a full-featured official Monero wallet. You may have heard of Bitcoin before, so let me introduce a bit of Monero. Monero is an anonymous blockchain cryptocurrency with an opaque blockchain. What this means is that your transactions aren't publicly traceable on the ledger, but are only visible to you and your recipients. There is an option to securely share your transaction history with a tax agency or your accountant, but by default, all Monero transactions are private and if you route them through Tor, they're also anonymous. This is opposite to Bitcoin, where all transactions are publicly broadcast and all coins can be traced back through each Bitcoin address all the way back to their original point of creation. Monero is the true cash of cryptocurrency. Another excellent application is OnionShare. It allows you to securely and anonymously share files of any size over the Tor network. It doesn't need to be run inside of a Hunix, but it's much more secure to have that layer of isolation from your main system and most importantly from your true IP address. Hunix also ships with KeyPass XC Password Manager in case you want to store passwords for your crypto wallets or online accounts. If you need to transfer files between the Hunix workstation and your host system, the safest way is to just create a shared folder and move your files in and out of there. You can easily create this shared folder in the virtual box settings for your Hunix workstation. Just create a dedicated folder and then navigate to it. You can copy paste to and from Hunix into your main system, you just can drag and drop or transfer files other than using the shared folder. There are VirtualBox extensions that allow you to do that, but they are proprietary and installing them compromises the security of your Hunix machine, so I don't recommend it. As I said before, Hunix is based on Debian, which is probably the most popular Linux distribution or base, which means you can install almost any Linux app on Hunix. Just make sure 
sure you install your apps securely and verify they are coming from secure and legitimate sources. Just a standard security practice. It's possible to install, for example, messaging apps like Signal, Wicker, or Wire on Hunix if they provide instructions on how to install their apps on Debian or Ubuntu-based Linux distributions. You could technically create and use these accounts completely anonymously, provided the sign-up process doesn't require any personally identifiable information. To really take advantage of Hunix isolation, compartmentalize your internet activities into different Hunix virtual machines. You can dedicate one for cryptocurrency, another one for social media, and one for general purpose browsing. Or just do whatever you want. There are no limits as long as your hardware can take it if you want to run multiple Hunix VMs at once. Hunix can take your anonymity as far as you need it. You can read the official documentation to learn more about the project and how to become as anonymous as possible. I use Hunix on a daily basis for most of my mundane tasks. It does give me that peace of mind that whatever I do inside Hunix is anonymized with much more resilient security model than just using bare Tor browser on a not-so-secure host operating system. There is another security level to this, and that's running Hunix on Cubes OS. Cubes is a security and privacy-focused desktop operating system that uses virtualization by default for all of the applications, and Hunix comes pre-installed. Running Cubes as your daily driver isn't within the scope of this video, but it is something that can be learned. If you found value in this Tor tutorial, please spam it with likes and constructive commentary and support my channel on Patreon or through channel memberships. Your help keeps this channel alive. Thank you for your support.